we want to estimate the square roots with a calculator rounding to the nearest hundredths and then write an equation to represent what the value actually means. So to approximate the square root of 11 on the calculator, we're going to press second x squared, which brings up the square root, and then we'll type in 11 and then a closed parenthesis and then press enter. So this is going to be approximately 3.32 rounded to the hundredths. When determining a square root, we're looking for a number that's squared that's equal to the radicand, or in this case, what number squared is equal to 11. So the meaning of this is that if we square 3.32, and this is rounded, so it's going to be approximately equal to 11. Let's go ahead and check to make sure that's true. So we'll type in 3.32, again this is rounded, so we'll square it. Notice how we did round up, so this will be slightly larger than 11. And there it is. But this is still a good check to make sure that this is approximately 11. Now let's take a look at the second example, which is the square root of 131. So we'll type in second x squared 131, close parenthesis, enter. Again, running to the hundredths, this will be approximately 11.45. Which means if we square this number, we should get approximately 131. And again, let's go ahead and verify that. So 11.45 squared Again, this is rounded, but as we can see, it's very close to 131. So it is nice to be able to use a calculator to approximate square roots, but I do think it's important to keep in mind the meaning of what we're actually finding. I hope this was helpful.